Hi everyone, welcome you all. So in this video, I'm going to explain about uh, functional testing. So we were discussing about GUI testing, usability des testing in the previous videos. Now we will talk about the functional testing. So functional testing is a very important of our application. So as part of functional testing, we need to test a lot of things. So here I have listed out a few things. So let's see. So object properties coverage. As part of functional testing, we need to verify our application according to customer requirement, right? So one of the testing we need to perform is object properties coverage. That means uh, any application, uh, there are uh, different kinds of objects. What are the objects means? or it can be button or it can be text box, it can be link or it can be radio button, it can be drop down box, all these are comes under the uh, elements, web elements or called as the objects. So these uh, properties can be changed at the runtime dynamically. For example, let me just see a login screen. Here I need to enter username, here I need to enter password, then OK button is uh, print, OK button is uh, available here. So until unless I provided this username and password, OK button is a not enabled state. So by default, this is a, a default state. This is a small example of uh, object property. So how this object property is changing dynamically. When I provide this one, username and password, and then OK button will be enabled. So that we need to verify. This is a, one of the example of object properties coverage. And uh, I'll show one more example. For example, uh, if any travel application, you will select uh, like a from right from which place you are starting and where is a depart place like where is a destination let's say source and the destination place so let us say uh, here the first source place I have a 10 uh, uh, locations I have mentioned even in the destination also there are 10 uh, locations have been mentioned suppose if you select some source let's say if I select India here in the destination Apart from apart from this India, there should be other country should be present here, but the same country should not repeat here because the source itself is same. So target cannot be the same. Target should be different. So if we have 10 elements here, when I select some country here in the second text box, automatically this should become a nine because one is eliminated because in the same country should not be part of source and destination. Right. So this is a one more example of uh, object properties coverage. So these objects are dynamically changing at the runtime when you perform certain actions or an operation. So those things we need to verify as part of object properties coverage. And then uh, database and backend testing. So this is a huge kind of testing because we need to test a lot of things on database like uh, we need to test the uh, uh, we need to perform certain uh, operation transactions on the front end application and whether they are affecting the database or not. Uh, for example, there are two layers. The customer uh, or user is interacting with the UI. He will do a certain kind of records. He will submit uh, or he will update his data or he will uh, delete the data or he will sometimes select the data. So all this data is coming from the database backup, right? So as part of database, there are two things again. So here one is a uh, functional testing. The other one is a structural testing. So in the database itself, we have a database functional testing and a database structural testing. So normally database functional testing is done by the team, one team and uh, database structural testing is done by the separate team because they should have the clear cut idea of a complete database, end to end uh, in depth knowledge on database. So as a part of functional testing, we do like uh, uh, insert, update, delete and uh, select commands or those uh, requests are working fine or not from the front end and we'll log into the database we will verify whether the data is sent by the user is stored in the table or not exactly and uh, we'll uh, delete some record from the ui and the record is deleting from the table or not we will verify and uh, we will retrieve the data from the database by providing some account number or key value and proper data is uh, retrieving or not so those things we need to verify as part of the functional testing and there is another kind of testing called structural testing, database structural testing. So as part of this testing, we need to verify everything in database, like uh, tables validation we need to, like how many columns we created as per the requirement, and then what is the size of the column, so what kind of data we can store, what are the data type of the columns, so and relation between the tables, there are n number of tables will be there. If I send some data from here, that will be stored in many number of tables, because all tables are linked together. 
so what are all different tables are available what is the relationship they have okay that also we need to verify and especially we need to also verify the functions and procedures by passing separate different inputs and those procedures and functions providing proper output or not this is a kind of unit testing again or not and we need to verify we need to verify triggers and schemas and there are lot many things we need to verify as part of the database testing that's also called as a backend testing so we will discuss this in detail in the uh, next coming uh, videos but here i'm just uh, talking about very high level what is database testing what uh, we do as part of uh, database testing right so as part of database testing we do functional and structural part and function testing we do all the dml operations like insert update delete and select and whether the data is properly affecting on the database or not we will verify and when you come to the stru structural part we do uh, triggers validation store procedure functions tables relationships and many more okay next one is error handling coverage so sometimes so when you provide an invalid input to the application it should give certain proper messages it should give proper messages like you have uh, suppose when i say in uh, login screen when i provide a username here something i provided password also have provided it's giving some message called uh, uh, invalid input see this the invalid input it is given so when i give some invalid data whether it is giving proper uh, our message is correct or not that we need to verify first but not only that we need to also make sure that message should be readable to the user understandable by the uh, user for example uh, here i'll tell you two things one is if i provide something wrong in this ui it's giving invalid input that's a one message application is giving so there is another message like uh, if i given username is wrong but password is correct then it should say invalid username it should uh, it should say very specifically and suppose if i give password is wrong it should say invalid password invalid password so the message should be this much specific and then i know what kind of a mistake i have done in the application right so that is a, a main intention of uh, doing a error handling coverage testing okay whenever we provide certain kind of invalid inputs the application is properly responding or not properly providing the valid inputs or not we need to verify and then the calculations and manipulations and especially for financial and banking applications we need to do a lot of calculations right with all kinds of inputs positive negative so in all the cases we need to verify whether we are getting actual results or not so that is also play a very important role in the applications and then uh, links existence and link execution especially for web based applications we need to also verify all the links properly placed in the proper manner or not and execution means every link is proper providing proper target page or not if i click on this link suppose it it uh, navigated to some other uh, page so that's wrong right so every link should have a proper target page and uh, when i click on the link it is it should navigate to proper page or not so that also we need to verify as part of the link existence and link uh, execution and cookies testing so cookies are basically temporary internet files which will be automatically created in your browser when i access any applications so whether these cookies are properly creating or not or deletable or not what kind of information it contains all these things we can verify as part of cookies testing and these uh, last two are especially for uh, web based applications and rest of them will be there for every kind of applications okay so these are the different type of testings which are uh, comes under the functional testing so as a functional tester we need to perform all these types of testing and uh, we should conduct these testings uh, based upon the requirement again so we need to thoroughly read the customer requirement understand it and then you will know what kind of testings you need to perform and how we need to perform those testings okay so that's all about uh, functional testing so thanks for watching this video uh, please watch my please uh, subscribe my channel to get more updates thank you all